Hey everybody, it's Tim Hinton from marchingartseducation.com. You might also know me as the host of the Marching Roundtable podcast. We are going to talk about band photography. Your students deserve to have some great action shots of them on the field. And my guest today is great at doing this. Lance Martin, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great. So Lance, you've been a volunteer and doing band photographer at China Spring for a really long time. Like how long have you been doing this? Well, it feels like a long time. It's been about six years. Yeah, I've had I had a son who was uh, in band for four years. I had one year kind of a break, though. I did some photography that year and my daughter's now a sophomore. Well, I, I mean, I think that we need to have great memories and take good photos of our students on the field. But I don't think we do that. So we're going to talk about how he volunteers and why. And then we're going to do another conversation about tips for you if you're trying to help your students get better photographs, if you're trying to be a photographer. So Lance, how did you get started? I mean, have you always been a photographer? How did you get started doing this for the band? <laughs> well, it goes back probably more than 30 years. I was a high school yearbook photographer, right? And shooting everything in my school. I grew up in a little band town. Uh, some people may be familiar with Lindale, Texas, the pride of Lindale marching band. Um, I wasn't in the band, but I was on the sidelines shooting them. And so that's probably where it started. That was all in film. And, uh, you know, then I was out of it for a long time when I my kids started school and got into band. You know, I started roadieing, you know, helping move band instruments and things. And I brought my camera along, started taking my own pictures of my kid and other kids. And then I noticed that, you know, it gets pretty boring taking pictures of your own kid. Uh, it's also easier to take pictures of other people's kids because they're less prone to give you that scowl. You know, that mom, dad, don't take my picture kind of look. Um, and so, you know, I it just I fell into that and started taking more and more pictures. And eventually um, I stopped roadieing um, and was became the full time photographer. Really, I, I shoot, you know, practices, uh, contests, Friday night football, of course. Um, anytime I can get a chance to get out there and shoot the kids, I'm doing it. So why do you keep doing this? Like, this is a lot of work and I know it, it's a service to the band and you like having the photographs. What keeps you doing it year after year? Because this is quite a commitment. Yeah, it's it, it, it's it's obviously my passion, right? I love photography. It's my art. I'm a writer at heart, my, my day job. I'm a writer, I'm a marketing person. Um, and photography, that is how I can kind of express an art. It lets me get away from the technical and the, the kind of rules. I set my own rules and you know, there are people out there that take pictures of people or even bands in high schools um, and they'll do it for money. I, I do it because I enjoy it. And and when people start paying me is when it becomes a job. So I like to do it because it's my hobby, I guess you could say. Uh, but I also like to help help the program by doing this. Absolutely. So if somebody's thinking they would like to do this with their band, what would you recommend? Like, what's the first step for them or what would you what advice would you give them just to try to get started in this? Sure. I, I'd say that the key is, you know, you need a decent camera, right? I, you don't have to spend as much as I probably do, <laughs> you know, thousands and thousands of dollars, but a good single lens reflex type camera is probably helpful. Um, and it's really the best lens you can afford is probably the, the thing I would suggest. And that doesn't necessarily mean the longest lens, but the best aperture or the fastest lens, as, as they say in photography, um, something that goes to a 2.8 or better in aperture is usually going to get you the best results because most band uh, photography is done at night, right, uh, or in low light conditions. And so that's one of the key things and probably the best lesson I ever had, uh, and, and this was in high school yearbook workshop, was don't think of it as you've got to go out and shoot everybody at the same time, right? If you shoot one member of the band, they're going to represent the whole band when that picture is in the yearbook, right? Or in on your Facebook page or in your Instagram. And so it's it it's kind of symbolic, um, or or at least it, it it represents the whole band when you shoot the individual. And you can get closer, you can make it more dramatic, um, and then you just shoot more individuals, right? And that's what I do. I tend to try to get candidates of people. Or in, in action and performance, I'll get individuals or small groups more than I'll do the big wide trying to get everything at one time. Awesome. Well, I love that you're doing this work. I think it sounds really rewarding. I hope a lot of people out here that are watching will be inspired to, you know, get their camera out and, and help their band out in this way. Lance has more information to help you get better shots of your band members. So we're going to be back with another segment and he's going to give you some specific tips besides the ones he's already given us. So Lance, look forward to talking with you one more time. Thank you.
that. Look forward to it.